campaign 2016 tonight, it appears Donald Trump's Veep stakes may be down to just three. Indiana Governor Mike Pence, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, and former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich, WBZ political analyst John Keller here now. And John, all three of these men yeah. certainly have their pros and their cons. Yeah, and one of the cons may be they're all men. That yeah. doesn't really okay. help much with uh, improving Trump's Makes weak sense. numbers among female voters. But that aside, let's weigh the ups and downs briefly of each of these three leading potential running mates. Pence is a social conservative who opposes gay marriage and allowing gays to serve openly in the military, and also a fiscal conservative who likened the passage of Obamacare to the 9-11 terror attacks. Picking him might mollify the hard GOP right. But it won't please the party's Chamber of Commerce wing, which saw businesses fleeing Indiana over some of Pence's social views. Now, with Chris Christie, the problem is in his positions, which are more or less in the Republican mainstream. And if Trump believes his own forceful, sarcastic style is crucial to victory, well, choosing the acerbic Christie doubles down on that bet. But Christie's awful showing in the primaries suggests his voter appeal is limited, even in New Jersey, where both he and Trump right now now have terrible poll numbers. And what about Newt Gingrich? He might help win the South, and some big-time GOP donors are said to want Gingrich on the ticket. But a vice president is expected to be more seen than heard, and it's an open question whether the Gingrich and Trump egos could fit in the same limousine, even one of those big ones. By the way, Trump also met today with Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions, a strong supporter of his. And David, I wouldn't necessarily rule him out. He's got a sort of a high-profile anti-immigration br uh, brand that Trump might find compatible. So what do you think happens? Who does he end up picking? Well, you know... Uh, it sort of depends who wins out. We've seen this battle in the campaign between the professionals, like this guy Paul Manafort that he brought in, and Trump himself kind of going with his gut. CNN is reporting anonymous sources say Trump's gut says Christie. You know yeah. what? Trump keeps saying, I trust my gut. I believe him. I wouldn't be surprised if it's Christie. I was going to say, this has been a campaign where his gut wins out almost every time. I did think it was interesting that Gingrich suddenly left his cable news job. I don't know if that means anything. Uh, that can always be turned on a dime. Yeah, that's true. All right, John Keller, thank you so much. Sure.